I think I got a crappie this time. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a pretty decent, pretty decent white crappie. Mm -hmm. Sure he is. Well, hey guys, we are back and it's a hot one out here already. I got a couple tips on staying cool out here in this hot summer heat. We're going to be using that beetle spin today or the jig and bobber. We're going to, I'm going to give you some tips on both. I'm going to try to use both of them so you can kind of get a few tips off of each one. But uh, we're going to try to catch some good ones. Let's see what we can do. Guys, here's the lure we're using today. We've got a thill crappie cork with a small rubber bobber stopper on top, a large one on the bottom. I like uh, to use two of them and pin my cork. And then I have a bobber garland jig. That's a bleeding shad color. That's a 16th ounce jig and a size four hook. We've got a couple crappie bites on there. And what I, what I do guys is when this cork is in there and I, I pop it and snap it and pull on it, what it does is tilt that jig and lift him up like that. So you go up and it flutters down, up, flutter down. So you can see it right here. My jig is vertical. You see how it stays horizontal at the top of the water? That's what I'm talking about right there. That's why I do that, why I tie it like that with the tight knot. I don't want it hanging upside down. I want mine sitting just like that. I got good control over it that way. I know what it's doing. And then when I'm sitting there, I pull, it lifts it up and drops it back down. Pull, lifts it up and drops it back down. But yeah, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast out here and we're gonna let it set for five seconds one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi and then what i do after that i just pull stop and pause this is to try to find their attention pull stop and pause pull stop and pause and if that don't seem to work after you do that several times i like to do a pop 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 stop pop 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 stop and you can do long pauses in between each of these. Pop, 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 stop. Pop, 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 stop. And here's your another one. Say you cast out there and he bites it. Say he took it under, but he let go and it floated back up. Well, then what I would want to do is just twitch it. I don't want to pull it to me. I just want to twitch it in the same area he's at and try to entice him into biting again. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I enticed one to bite. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's what you do is, uh, oh, he's a pretty decent one. I'll get my net on just under him a little bit. There we go. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> so what we got here on him. You see there, buddy? Oh yeah, he's over 12. Good white crappie. We'll take it. Anyway, guys, where, where I was at was uh, you twitch it like that if he misses, you know. And <laughs> I'll show you another another little technique too. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to go to fishing here, see if we can't catch a few. So, but yeah, I, the reason I use these little crappie bites, guys, is because a scent. You can use spray-on scent. I don't really care for it. It gets kind of messy. So I just use a crappie bite, and it does just as good for me. But anyway guys another technique to kind of search these crappie out is just cast it out there and then just do a slow retrieve like that right there just keep her nice and slow and then you can stop and pause if you want to but this right here is a, another technique that you can try but you see that little flicker made him bite so you want to keep trying the same thing that that works but use different techniques you can try you know come up with some techniques of your own try all different kinds of stuff pop 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 stop and then pull stop and pause you can mix it up but all you're doing is just keeping that jig kind of lively making it realistic to the fish so my favorite technique search these crappies out I, I usually just cast it out there and let it sit that five second pause like I was talking about and then I'll just pull stop and pause 
and you can pause five seconds I like to I like a good little pause in between that's my favorite technique right there about the easiest to do and it's very effective too so we're gonna go ahead and put a minnow on here I want to go ahead and get started I just hook them through the top of the head like that that way if I want to do a steady pull I can swim him right along there see what they'll do with this minnow sometimes I like minnows better than jigs so put both of them on there There you go. It might be a pretty good one. Oh, it's a bass. Pretty, pretty decent bass. Mm -hmm. Get through there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he got hooked pretty good. So I can get some pliers here. Pretty good, right on top of that roof. There we go. Good, solid little bass. He's solid. Later. But yeah, guys, while I'm fishing this side, I'll throw me two 10 foot uh, crappie poles over here, and I got slip bobbers on them, and jig hooks, and a minnow. I'll show you what I got right here. Just right there, just trolling a minnow around on the back side of the boat. And I usually pick up quite a few extra fish that way a lot of times. So it's a good idea if you want to load that stringer. Oh man, that's a good one. I might have to tighten my drag. What is that? Oh man, that's a big old bullhead. I hadn't seen, I don't think I've seen one that big before. Holy oh, man. That's a big old bullhead. <laughs> Wow. Let me see if I can get him off of here. Man, look at that, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's strong. He's a stubby one, but man, he is solid. See how long he is. He's a 15 incher. You know what? I'm gonna weigh him. The reason I want to weigh him, because you know the Arkansas state records, two pounds seven ounce. So I'm gonna take a peek at him. He is so thick. This is yellow bullhead. Let's see if we can get a little weigh on him. And he's a fighter. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what he weighs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Two pounds, seven ounces is a state record. Let's see if I can get him this time. Here we go. Wow. 228. Oh, well, come on, lock in. Right about 228. I don't know what the what the measuring is on that. I mean 228 he's close <laughs> man he is a solid solid dude alrighty later <laughs> well I decided to put a liquor chartreuse pearl on here we got that go blade liquor chartreuse pearl that's a 30 seconds jig head hook and a live minnow we're going to see if we can catch another one with the beetle spin.
I like to take this beetle spin and drop it all the way down, let it sink and then just finesse it, pull it up and let it fall right back down. I'm not fishing it like a spinner bait. I'm fishing it like a jig. So think of it like that. Just pretend like there's no lure on there. It's just the jig, maybe the jig in the middle and, and you letting it sink. You're just fishing it like a jig, like it's a jig only. If you fish it like a spinner, unless they're biting really aggressive, you probably ain't gonna get them to bite. You gotta finesse this thing really slow. And uh, there he is, get his attention. That's what we got this time. Wow, he's a good something. <gasps> oh, that hurt. <laughs> well, man. Boom, there he is. That's not a crappie, I don't think. Where is that? Another bullhead? Another bullhead? What? Wow, he's a, he's a big one too. <laughs> Man. Let me see if I can just grab him. Maybe not. Oh, easy there, buddy. There we go. Man, that's, that's another big one. <laughs> they ain't even gonna weigh him, but yeah. Yellow bullhead. Alrighty. He was getting out of dodge. I think I got a crappie this time. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a pretty decent, pretty decent. White crappie. Mm -hmm. See what he is. He's over 12. He's a good one, we'll take him. There he goes, look at that. There we go. <laughs> we got you. Oh, barely got him. <laughs> we don't know if he's big enough yet. We're going to check a peek at him. Uh, a white crappie. If I can hang on to him. <laughs> Let me clean him off a little bit. Oh, yeah. He's over 10. Let me check that, make sure. Oh yeah. She's over 10. We'll take it. There he goes. Turn my thing off here. Oh, easy. <laughs> here we go, we got him. Little old black crappie. Get him undone here. He got hooked good. Okay. Yeah, he's a, just a nine incher. He's just a nine incher, so. He's pretty though. Later. Well, guys, I wanted to show you my rod holders. These are tie down cleats here, and this rod holder right here just goes on your tie down cleat. You don't have to have this stuff, but it's just a safety bracket to keep it from flying off your boat or whatever. But check that out. You, when you pull on that fish, it just leans right back and you get the fish right off of there. I love these things, guys. I got one there, one there, and one there on the front. And uh, if you guys want to check them out, I'm going to put a link down below the video in the description box. Just look up Lunker Trail Rod Holders. 
I love them when I'm trolling. I'll have poles on both sides. It's nice. There he is. There he goes. Oh yeah. See if we can get him in there, man. That's a good one. Don't lose that dude. I'd lift him up, but I think he's already got a tore lip. There we go. Easy. <laughs> But that's what I'm talking about, jigging them poles behind the boat. You can catch some good ones. He's not too bad. He's a, let's see how long he is. Almost 12. Almost 12. That's a nice white crappie. We'll take him. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Come on in here. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we get him. I just lost a good one <laughs> and getting this one in definitely was good I was worried Let's see what we got on this one. yeah he's almost 11 and a half a good white crappie we'll take him oh there he is I don't know what it is. What is that? It's a bass. He jumped on the old jig. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Pretty little bass. Later. Well, my men is gonna need a little air, so we'll give them a little air and go ahead and fish the beetle spin for a minute. Go back, to, we're just going back and forth until we find a solution. Gotta keep on fishing. All right, let's see what we got here. I can usually get this beetle spin, I can actually, when they ain't even biting a jig, I usually can make them bite a beetle spin put that minnow on there so I finesse it around and make them think it's a wounded bait they just can't resist that's what you gotta do you gotta coax them into biting I say man look at this oh that's a gar they don't want him <laughs> spotted gar Yeah, why don't you let go of my lure there, bud? Man, he just put water all over me. Hmm, I'd almost take that loop out of that beetle spin and let you go if you just hang on. I don't like messing with the teeth. You got some powerful teeth. Yeah. Nah, he tore my hook up anyhow. Look at that. But, being this is just a safety pin style beetle spin, I can grab me another one and go right back with it. I think I'm gonna try this little this silver. No, I'm gonna try this pink, this pearl white and pink. That's the color we're gonna go with today. Go back with today. <laughs> All right, we're ready again. Well, guys, here's the key to your heat. Here's your solution right here. This is a camping cooling fan. It's got dual blades. You can put that thing on one. It'll run for 50 something hours on one. You turn it all the way up to high on four, right there. It will run a steady 16 hours right there. And it also has an LED light. You can kind of light up three times. And it's got a cool little power indicator. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna put a link to this down in, uh, in the description box so you can check it out.
There he is. Oh yeah, come on in here. It took a beetle spin to find another one. <laughs> I might throw my jig up there in a minute. He's another little guy. Oh, pretty little black crappie. Yeah, he's less than nine. Little bitty one. He's a pretty one. Later. Well guys, I wanted to show you my minnow box setup. I just got a bubble box on the side and it's got the D batteries that last really long, two or three days. You know, you can use it for the whole weekend. But all I got is a bubble stone with a weight on there to just hold it to the bottom. And I put me a little metal bracket on here so it wouldn't pinch my air hose. And that's about it right there. But a, a tip, guys, you can put, let me turn this off. You can put you some ice in here and get this water pretty chilly. Then minnows do fine. They don't need as much oxygen. And then uh, I, on the net, I like to use me a float. I like these floating nets. That way in the wintertime, you don't get your hands wet as much, you know. You can stay a lot, a lot warmer that way. Yeah, that's my minnow box setup, guys. There he is. Yeah. See if I can get him in here. Oh yeah. Easy. <laughs> Got another white crappie. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure he's long enough. He's 11 and a half. We'll take him. There it goes. Yes, sir. Oh, I lost him. There it goes. Oh, he's a pretty good fish, whatever this is. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. Another bullhead. Yellow bullhead. Wow. He's another pretty good one, too. Got a white spot on top of his head for some reason. Or a battle star or something. Yep. Another boy head. It's some fighters. <laughs> Easy there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try to get him off of here. Yeah, I thought I'd throw that old beetle spin back out again and lost a crappie and caught a bullhead okay yeah he got a skin mark on top of his head he's a he's a solid one Later. <laughs> What we got here? A bass. <laughs> well, little guy. He liked that old beetle spin. So I can get this old beetle spin out of his mouth here. There we go. We got him. <laughs> he was ready. See a gar. There he goes. Come on in here. <laughs> Another black crappy. Barely, barely got him. See if he's long enough. Oh yeah. He's almost ten and a half. We'll take him. Oh 
Oh man, that's a good something. Whoa. Grinnell. Old bowfin. <laughs> he's a fighter. <laughs> oh no, he's in my trailer motor. Now it's probably going to break. Oh, he come out. Man. Wow. <laughs> he about knocked himself out hitting that boat. <laughs> well, if you get through, I'd get my lure back. <laughs> These old bow fins are tough. Man. They are tough. And they fight. Mm. He just getting started. They got plenty of fight in them. Man. Alright, let me see if we can. I don't know if he's done yet or not. Let me bring him over to the boat and see. I might get him. Well, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. We got him. There he was. Let's see if we can get him in. Oh, yeah. Catching a bunch of good eating size crappie today, so I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Almost a little black crappie. Yeah, these are good pen size. We'll take them. There you go. Oh man. Oh god. Spotted guard. Are you hooked? Yeah. He's pulling. Oh, that ain't, that ain't a spotted gar. Is that a baby alligator one? I doubt it. No, he's just a, he's a spotted gar. See the spots on his snout now. The only short billed ones is the spotted gar and the alligator gar that I know of. Mm -hmm. Got a mouthful of razor teeth. <laughs> See if we can't get some of this. Uh... Yeah, they got some teeth on them. Look at that. He got right back on my jig. I never got off. Hmm. I was trying not to crush my my jig because I got her super glued on there, but he's gonna mess it up. There we go. Yeah, he messed it up.